This next game is between Wheelchair United. I don't pick the names, but Wheelchair United and Erase. This is a Malibu.et One Day Cup. And I believe this is edition 22. So it, it's been going on for a while. We have, I think we've caught a couple of Malibu tournaments in the past. We will try to catch some more in the future. I am in, in communication with Kapot, who is the, the head general over at Malibu. And he is going to be organizing some tournaments in the future, which is great. Uh, for Wheelchair United, we have Menace, Insane, Artstar, iPod, Snatics, and Bobica. For Erase, we have Player, Genosta, Raz, BN, who was who was fake nicking as Popper. I think it was Popper? Popper Doma or something like this. Uh, we also have Karma and Eugen playing for Erase as well. Um, the, the maps for this one were Supply and Gold Rush. There was... A little bit of a slowdown for me. I only just get on in, got on the game in time. I uh, started my stream pretty much as soon as the game started. So for the first four minutes, I was setting up my stream, making sure everything was looking good. They did pause the game. Not for me, but they did pause. And that allowed me to start streaming from the pause. So I decided to go back and recast the first four or so minutes. Um, so it, it might seem a little bit disjointed. I do apologize. But I think it's better that the entire game's casted rather than you just watching nothing. Um, for the first four minutes. Um, so, it's like I said, it's going to be a Malibu.et one day cup. And uh, this is the semi finals of edition 22. To fight. So, we are going to kick off this semi final. I am going to cast up until a pause. Because the pause is where I casted from in the live game. That, that'll make sense as the cast continues. It was around the 10 minute mark. As we have got Wheelchair United on defense. And they are going to kick things off with a nice rifle coming out from Menace. He's going to go aggressive in the cave. We have seen some very nice things coming out of Menace uh, in the last couple of weeks. The land, of course, included. As there are quite a few mines in position. As the Allied team actually will bounce down, dodging the artillery. Genosta nearly making it to that lower area. Snatics in position to get that frag. Patterns will come out from Raz. Nice frag comes in. I'm not sure if Snatics is gibbed or not. It does look like he has been picked up. Art Star in position to get that revive. So it's going to be Popper Bass, aka Anim, pushing into this lower area. He does manage to get the frag. He's pushing up for the flag. No calls came in on that push. And they are going to be able to get their hands on the flag within the first minute. And that was Raz and, and Anim, both at the same time. Getting that plant. Just getting that, getting that flag grab, sorry, as the plant does actually go down on the upper area. No plant in the lower area just yet. Double Kovi is uh, going to have one suit. They are going to push over the top. Axis in position. Now, they should be able to control this. They only have one minute, and Karma staying well, well far away now. Nice frag does come out, though, from Karma. Pushing forward, iPod manages to take him down. The allies will start s streaming through still. No plant in that lower area just yet. They'll have to wait for the charge. No one respawned as an engineer. I didn't have that third engineer respawn back in. That is uh, disappointing. Artillery on the roads. Players in position here at CP. I'll pick up Snatics. He's in that key position. The field up here at CP is vital. They need to add as much time as possible here as well because their first stage was not great. Big landmine comes out from Menace. But I'm pretty sure that's the end of the landmines here. It's all down to the positional defense. Artillery does go down from Snatics. That's the push coming from the Allied team. They're going to run straight into the artillery, but it's going to be two artillery. So the next push from the Allied team is actually going to be able to push across. Big frag comes out, though. Snatics double artillery kill, but it's going to be all free at the CP just to push across now. As Anim moves into position, does actually get that gib on towards... Uh, I'm not sure who that was. I think it was Insane. He's going to be able to clear it out as well. Bobaka taken down. And the Allied team are going to stream straight towards the main plant. Five players. And Eugen's going to get down an easy plant here. That double artillery really backfiring. You need to time those a little bit better. I know this is a, a bit of a mixed team. It can be a bit harder. But basic communication. Need to get uh, that in. Raz double frag on West. As you do see, uh, Genosta trying to hold off this medic. They're not going to allow the engineers to move in. They did have an opportunity. No CP in the hands of the Allied team. Nice frags coming out from, from the Allied team. And I think they've slowed down the Axis team enough. There we go. The big kill outs come in. And they will give up this stage. Artillery going down at main. And of course, uh, main's the only entrance. So this is a nice artillery. It's going to force a lot of the players just to concentrate on planting east. So you are going to see a plant go down. Nice uh, frag comes in from R-Star. It's going to be a 
Easy frag and reply though from player, who actually gets taken down instantly from the nade over the top. But I think we're going to see an engineer breeze in. It is going to be Eugen, and he should get this plant. Menace from behind, he is going to be able to get that, that rifle in. That was so fortunate. Bounced off the rock, then off the little pillar. And uh, they managed to do to get that plant down on the third, or, or second or third time of a time of trying. I think we're going to go for that double plant just to make sure. I think they ignored that second dynamite. So I'm going to turn their attention to main and west. Raz is just uh, holding point on this west side of the map. Respawning allies will come in. We're going to have the the truck just inside main. I'm going to see Karma try it. It looked like he wanted to go for a jump. Plant on east is going to blow. Maybe a little boost coming in on the on East Rock, Genosta going for that. Raz just runs straight in and gets a frag. Where's the Axis defense? Nice play from Raz. The revives aren't going to come in. Art Star, last man alive, is going to get taken down. I think that's respawn is coming in in iPod. He has managed to push out. Very aggressive, but I think that's Art Star out on full spawn. I have to try and pick up one of the Axis. Actually, there's a respawn coming in now, so we are going to see the defensive play come in from the Axis. And I am going to transition over to the main cast. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Good evening, good evening. So here comes the unpause. This could be the legit one. This could be legit. We'll see what this rifle can do. I don't Fight. think it's going to do much. Yeah, it's just a bit this time. The truck will get moved along by the uh, the allied rifle, which is uh, which is Anim. He's going to get into position as well. That prone right at the end. Really good job from Anim. And so we do have a couple of frags going the way of the United team. Push coming in through east wall. Nice shooting from Art Star here. He's going to be able to get quite a lot of damage onto one. But he's going to get slightly overwhelmed. He is going to be able to get a couple of headshots off. He has to back off. But job done. He needs to just be wary of his full spawn here. So a couple of allies on that back location. They do know they're there. Well, I say they know they're there. Menace has no idea. He's in West Tower. He's getting shot in the back. Headshots rain out from Genosta. His engineer has dropped. As uh, Bobica takes, I would say, quite a bit of damage from falling, but finished off easily by Genosta here. He's got quite a lot of control on this backside of the uh, the compound. He's going to get supported by another player. He's actually going to get team naded. Fortunately, he didn't get too much damage in. Nice give comes out from Genosta. And he is going to respawn back in. And uh, the United team are going to be a man down for about 10 15 seconds. So the next push will come in through main iPod and a lot of Axis players in position. I'll start with a big triple kill on this uh, east side of the map. Does manage to slow them down quite a bit. Respawn has been dealt with as a uh, full, full strength Axis team are going to push out now. Pressure on towards uh, the main area. I'd say the big, the big shooter, the big, the big danger for the Allied team, of course, is going to be that man. Insane. He is. Uh, Recent land winner, of course, did really well at the uh, the KBG event. Three on three and six on six champion. So just the art style, just covering the spawn, not allowing anyone to get up. They may be jumping up back though. Doesn't seem to be too worried about that potential. But he is uh, going to have a little peek. Does see one or two players pushing through the spawn. Uh, it does look like a race are going to mount a, a reasonable attack here. As it's going to be three or four players pushing up the stairs. Raz leading the way, picking up the first frag. Will the rifle frag come out here for, uh, for Anim? He is in a good position. Double rifle out comes out from Anim. And the push in towards the, the uh, main objective. Big, huge panzer from iPod. Does pick up three massive frags and the engineer is taken down. And I can't see the build coming in. Popper Bass, aka Adam, needs to get back here. He's the only one who can get this built up. The engineer was gibbed out. Here comes the engineer. He is going to finish this off. But that was a huge panzer from iPod. Really well played. He would have slowed it down, even if just by 5, 10, 15 seconds. As we do have Druin, the Raz, the Raz man, on this uh, west side. Decides to push in. Nice bit of damage comes out. He does manage to take down one and gibbed out as well. I think he heard some da he heard some shots. There's someone in West Tower. Might be a teammate. It is indeed a teammate. He is joined by Genosta on the truck. And they are going to get that escort. And it does look like it is going to be full control here for a race. They're going to be setting a pretty decent time. Unless the truck gets slowed down. 
I mean, it was a, a nice bit of heroics from iPod, but it's not going to be too big a deal as uh, you, got, you see Eugen get two players out off on the spawn. The truck has been stopped. Strike, though, could pick up some team damage. He is going to eliminate Menace, the big, big uh, danger on the defensive team. That rifle needs to be in position a lot of the time, but iPod now down to a Luger. As a field up, could drop himself an ammo pack, but uh, that would be too easy for iPod. I don't think he would have had much of a chance anyway. Overwhelmed at main, four or five players would have been pushing through. And this is going to be the truck getting away. This is going to be a really nice time as well. Nine minutes for the uh, for the allied team. A race doing a really good job. Their first stage, I didn't. we didn't see it live pro properly. But it was about a minute and a half. I will recast the first part of the game for any YouTube up upload. But for, for you guys watching live on the stream, it was a very fast first stage. They picked up CP. They had truck inside main and just basically in position within five minutes. So it was a very nice uh, start for the race team. And they are going to set 8 minutes 52, which is really, really good. Looking at the scores, we do have Insane with 16, Frag, Snatics with 16, iPod with 14, Menace with 15, very, very even. Uh, the big damage going the way of Snatics, 2.9k damage. Across to the other team, erased a bit more, even spread across the team. Um, and they did, well, it was very close on the Frags and very close on the damage. And as a defensive team, you really want to be getting. I'd say at least 30% more damage, you know, 20-30% more kills. This just shows that maybe a race had them on the back foot quite a bit. Uh, 15 frags, the top fragger coming out is Genosta. He got the big damage as well, 2.7k. But uh, other, other than the big three-man panzer that we saw coming out of iPod, which was really good, it did take down the engineer, gipped out. I uh, didn't see too much from the defensive team. I think Artstar had a couple of nice frags, but that's about it. Um, I, I didn't see much uh, much control. They were retaking some situations based on um, based on giving freedom from killouts, but they didn't seem to be able to hold off full full, full attacks very often. You are very welcome, Kapot. You are very welcome. Is this double elimination, Kapot, or is it going to be this game and then the grand final? I need to know. Merlin needs to know this information. And also, is it is, is best of three? Or is this uh, best of one? Because I saw the other games were very, very long. Uh, very short, sorry. Prepare to fight. But we are going to kick things off on the second half of Supply. Yeah. As uh, the Wheelchair United team have everything to do. This is a single elim elimination tournament, I've been told. The the Maybe double elimination tournaments coming up in the future. That's good to hear. It's all good. It's all good. Panzer does come out into that low area. Doesn't actually manage to pick up any frags. Nice, uh, nice spacing from the erase team. Two big frags, though, from Menace. And here come the Wheelchair United team into that lower area. They are going to be able to pick up four or five frags, but the respawning axes do come in. No plant going down in that lower area just yet. It is an engineer dropping that dynamite down. Double engineer play, really nice. They are going to be able to get that plant in. Will the defuse come in for the defensive team? Two engineers moving in with for the defuse already. Taking shots is taken down. I can't see a Panzer. Big pistol frags coming out. Insane picks up two. So does Art Star. And the Panzer comes out, but it's another engineer. Are they going to be able to stop it? They aren't. iPod shots come out a bit too late. And I think the Axis are going to be able to slow down the flag grab as well. Insane nearly getting it with the jumps. And I think the Axis are actually going to respawn in. That was a brilliant, brilliant defuse by the Axis team. I'll try and pick up someone on the defense. They are going to be pretty much under the cosh constantly. A lot of defensive action going to be going on. Lots of frags. And as you can see, the ultra uh, defensive play from, from Anim here. Plant will go down in that lower area. He's going to jump down and try and slow this down. Got kind of baited. Where did the engineer go? I think it was uh, I think it was another engineer. Must have killed out. Or he just backed off massively. Another plant in that lower area. Can the Axis do another defuse? The allies really need to hold on here. Two engineers going for it very quickly. Big rifle comes out from Menace. Picks up three. It's just Adam alive as the engineer. He is going to get that defuse in. Where's the gunshots? There it comes. Artstar gets in the kip as well. Brilliant give from Artstar. He was surrounded by four players. Panzer's just going to come out for good measure. It isn't going to be needed. They are going to be able to secure that first stage. And the Axis have done uh, a reasonable job. Their first defuse uh, would have added about 30 seconds to a minute onto the clock. 
It is, it is very much a time game now as the allied team have actually pushed through the door with the suit and they are making their way towards CP and it's been destroyed. Are they going to be able to insta-build? No CP defense for the Axis team and it does look like the insta-build is going to come in for the allied team. They are trying to move in and are they going to be able to slow it down? They are really nice work from player. He is going to get dropped himself. But I think the insta-build is going to come in eventually. Statics moving across with the pliers. He is going to be able to get that build in. So forward spawn on lockdown, and now now we've got a game. Now we've got a game. This is lovely to see. As, uh, the wheelchair United team have control of uh, CP respawn. Now they're going to turn their attention towards main and east. Maybe a bit of west as well. And so we will try and pick up some of the defensive team plant. Did go down at main, or at least the dynamite did get dropped, but all those players did get eliminated. Drew in AKA uh, Raz, getting quite a lot of that in. But maybe a plant going to come in anyway. They aren't going to be able to finish that dynamite off. He did. I think that's the same dynamite. As plants go down at, at east and main at the same time. We will probably see an opportunity here for the defuses. Big rifle comes out from Menace though. That's going to make it a bit harder for the Axis team. They are on the Panzer again. He's holding his ha in his hands. Insane's going to be able to get this Panzer off. Big Panzer from Insane. It kills one but gives two. And it does look like a kill out's going to come out for the remaining player who is the... Uh, I think that was Anim. He's not going to try and risk that full spawn for the defuse. Surrounded by allied players, I don't think that would have been a good idea. Plant now going down on west. Bobica trying to get in a bit of cover. Not needed. Plant's going to go down in time. Nice headshots coming out from Bobica. He does eliminate that engineer, but the revive did come in. I'm trying to try and free cam around. It's going to be a battle between uh, these players to try and get that defuse in. It does look like the allied team have come out on top. No. More revives coming in. Again. And him has to kill out. He has to abandon that opportunity. Nice, uh, nice slowdown action from the from the attacking team. They have got someone in East Tower as well. Lots of spam coming over the top. Nice revives though from the Axis. They need to keep the revives going. Three players were downed on this uh, inside East corner. Nice work from the defensive team, and they are going to go aggressive. We're watching Karma in the cave. Is, will he kill out? He is going to kill out. Eugen just inside main. Size to hold his position. Very, very needed. Someone's just pushed, pushed in east. Got the drop on Eugen there. Did get a double frag as well. Menace with a double frag too. And four players for the allied team making their way in through main. One player on west needs to get things done. As uh, he is going to have players to deal with on this west corner as well. Nice shot there. Artstar manages to get the truck into position. Just over four minutes remain for the allied team to get the build in. I don't think there are any engineers in position. I say that. And Menace is already there. No Panzer, no rifle in through the back window. They need to press the button. We need to. I think the truck is in position. There we go. Arstar presses the button, and that is going to be the uh, the truck under uh, allied allied control. Axis are all around it, however. But this is the big job done for uh, for Wheelchair United. It's the easy job now. Do they buckle? Do they buckle under the? Do they get complacent? It's easy here, guys. It's easy, and then they just don't do it. The race uh, have the hard bit to do. And that was a nice gib. I think that was a mistake. I think it might have been um, Menace landing on a, on a mine and tapping out actually gibbed Raz. And he's out for full. Nice uh, grenade in main. Eugene does pick up one, but Insane picks up three after doing the jump towards east. And allies are everywhere. They are going to start moving that truck. Four players on that back area. Five players for allies. I don't see this getting slowed down. The respawning Axis have to get all the frags. Two frags coming in for Snatics just before the respawn of the uh, Axis team. Here they come, roaming in through the back door. But the truck isn't stopping. Two players on this east corner as well. More backup coming in from west. And it is still going to be an escort. They've got it to the front of east. Still a lot of Axis players in position, just one remaining medic, and it is going to be Arstar actually picking up three just to get that slowdown in, but all the revives come in for the Axis team, allies are going to start streaming in through main, and it does look like four players are going to push in through and uh, try and camp on the respawn actually, as so they are going to maybe pick up a bit of damage, nice shooting from Insane, he isn't going to get that Gibbon, but are there people on the truck, this is a bit, a good, a good distraction. Job from uh, from Insane and a couple of the Allied players, but one of them needed to get on that truck. Giving the Axis a little bit of an opportunity here. Big push coming in through East. They are starting to move the truck slowly. Two minutes remain. This is very doable. I think I can hear someone moving up top. 
Yes, my ears do deceive me. Push coming in through main for the allied team. They're only coming in ones and twos here. They need to be careful with this. Master pushes in through east. Does get eliminated. Genosta takes him down. The race doing a pretty good job here, but the truck is still creeping. And this is very much a losing battle for the Axis team. They have put an artillery on top of it, so it could do a, a good job. They've only got about three or four more spawns to deal with, really. But uh, the Allies only need to stand next to the truck. As easy as one player standing next to the truck with a pistol. There could be three Axis, four Axis players there. Nice pistol work, though, from Insane. And he is going to escort the truck to the top of the hill. And this really should be game over. Panzer comes across as, as well. Revive all coming in, the Allied team have got the first map and I think they've done a really good job they had just under nine minutes set against them but they managed to beat the clock really nice work and they beat beating the clock by a reasonable amount over a minute seven minutes 48 here on on supply it's very very uh, impressive We're looking at the frags 23 frags coming out from art star 15 from menace 16 from insane the big damage going the way of art star as well looking across to the other team 20 frags uh, coming out for Genosta. But the big damage going the way a player. I, th I think this is pretty even. 91 frags to 91. Just a little bit uneven on the damage. To be fair, a race did defend for a minute less. But it did. This game did look like basically uh, who was who was attacking better, not not anything like who was defending better. So I think it would if it would have gone on a little bit longer, the allies probably would have picked up a couple more frags. So we do have wheelchair united. Interesting name. Uh, going up 2-0. to zero. I will update the scores on the screen. And they are updating. They are updating live now. But during the LAN event, they didn't update live once. I had to do so many messing around. It was so annoying. It is really nice that it's actually working now. To fight. Best of five final. Sounds good. As long as it's five different maps. Sounds good. I don't want to see the same maps twice. So we are going to move on to Gold Rush. It's the standard double map. Gold Rush and Supply. Supply was tasty though. So I'm not too bothered. It is now Gold Rush. And it's going to be the Allied team. Which is going to be Wheelchair United. On the attack. Nice early artillery out from Bobica. We don't see enough of that. I'm going to be honest. We do not see enough of that. We are going to have the, the restart call vote coming in. I guess there's an, a problem. I'm not sure what the problem was there. It does look like it's going to be quite a quick bit of readying up. Maybe someone was AFK. It does happen. I have seen some dodgy resets before. Where people... Too many... Like, I've seen one where two people spawned back on supply by accident. And it was re called for a restart. I don't think restart should be called on that sort of mistake. That's a mistake. You have to deal with it. But I have seen that come in before. And that's uh, that's a bit harsh. Restart will come in regardless. We'll, we'll check out someone from the Axis team this time. As uh, I, think, I think we're going to have no one pushing aggressive towards side. That is different. Snatic's all by himself. He hasn't got any medic support by the sounds of things. Should make his way towards back. Going in towards side with no medic is... Uh, Almost suicidal, unless you're trying to get damage in. But he actually does get a gibbon. Nice work. And he does get a bit of damage onto another engine, uh, on another medic. Sorry. Nice rifle work comes out from Anim. Yeah, I'm going to try and clear out the mines a little bit. I did see a bit of aggression. I think that was Menace going towards the tank. But a lot of aggression coming out from the Allied team. And uh, they, near, I thought they had control. I thought they had control. It was actually an Axis uh, rifle pushing towards the tank. Not an Allied one, trying to build it. But look at this. Freedom on side. Not a bit, not quick enough on that setup, and it does look like the Ni team are actually focusing heavily on that back area, just trying to get a, a build on that CP when they have quite a lot of control here at the tank area. Nice artillery work from Bobica. He's gonna be able to pick up two. Presence on the tank still. Nice rifle comes out. Exchange of frags. Bobica picked up three overall, and the Wheelchair United team are gonna get in the revives. Where's the medic? He needs to pick up this player instantly. Need to stick on your engineers. They are going to build up the tank within the first minute and a half. Nice work from the LI team. Axis need to fall back real, real quick. They need to set up a stage here on this uh, on this barrier because they didn't have much of a stage on that tank. Nice shots coming out from Genosta. Pans will come out, though. Insane does take down one. I think the revival coming in on that engineer, though. I think he's going to get revived. There we go. We didn't hear the gib. 
and the build is going to come in. So there is going to be a barrier defense for the uh, for the Axis team. We did see iPod pick up a couple of frags at that barrier. The respawn and Axis will come in. Axis just need to be a bit careful on full spawns. We do have an ally player to the right of Eugen. Did hear that sh those shots. Nice shooting there, though. Just making sure they are all gibbed. Push coming in towards the side. Nice, uh, nice attempt by Eugen to hide away. We do have Snaptic starting to clear out the barrier. He hasn't had any medic support so far watching this. I know this is uh, going to be semi-mixed team stuff, but someone needs to be that medic. Someone needs to make that decision that it's going to be them. So we have Artstar holding control underneath CP. He is going to get overwhelmed by two players. Plant has gone down on the barrier. So Axis have managed to slow down the Allied team by a good 30 seconds or so because the tank is in position and the plant only just went down. So that's a full 30 second delay. Just got to stop them from getting control on the spawn now. Very, very important. If you're held into that spawn, it's really hard to get out of it. The courtyard needs to be under Axis control as quickly as possible. CP looks like it's going to be going in towards the Allies' hands very, very soon. Is this a... Uh... Does it look like maybe they're going to go for that, that truck barrier? I don't need to think you need to go for that truck barrier too much. It's probably more important to damage the tank as you see someone dodging and weaving. Does look like it is going to get damaged though. Nice work from the Axis team. It isn't actually damaged. It's still... There we go. There we go. I think if you can damage that a couple of times. Instant rebuild though does come in from the Allies. Axis have control. So they have got the uh, MG in their hands. And this is where it can be very dangerous for the Allied team to just push in towards that MG. There's someone on it now. And does sort of come out. See the MG still doing work. Team damage actually came out. It's going to be a destruction of the tank. Instant rebuild again. Engineer SMG on it. I'm going to say that Snatics getting it done. It was indeed. And the tank is now in position. CB has been planted by the Axis team. So again, a little bit more of a delay. They're going to have to have an engineer for an extra, sp extra spawn. And are pushing down on towards the spawn from the Allies. What's he going to do here? He is only going to be able to take that one on full. It is a danger, man. Raz is probably one of the big names in the uh, in the race team. Allies doing a really good job of just recovering from small situations. They are getting the barrier diffused. They are getting the tank built up very quickly. They aren't really escorting their engineers very well. Really nice revive comes out from Insane there. That's a really high level revive as you are going to see the plant come down on the barrier. Five players stream out. They have got two Kovis as well. They're going to go for that CP and that Sten action is going to give it away as you are going to have Artstar pick up two frags. I think there is one more, one more Kovi somewhere. Rifle comes out from Menace. I don't know where that Kovi went. He might have gone around a long way. He might still be under CP. He might have given up the ghost. I don't see him anywhere. So no CP destruction coming in. And they are actually going to get their hands on the gold. Mass aggression from the uh, from the Axis team is going to allow the Allied team to get their, their hands on the objective and making it up long. I'm not sure who's got it in their hands. It's going to be iPods. He's going to make it away. Let's try and pick him up. Ops to go back to the main spawn. And he isn't going to pick it up. It's going to be insane. He's just going to run straight across the bridge. Needs to be careful. There's a lot of camp spots here. He has got a good escort though. Nice work from the Allied team. They have already destroyed the barrier as well. And this is in the first six minutes of Gold Rush. This is this is what I like to see. So the truck is going to move on past the barrier. More frags coming in. Nice double grenade comes out from Anim, but the truck hasn't stopped moving. And it's insane. Just freedom. So much freedom to move this truck. Really nice shooting from Insane. He doesn't pick up that second frag, but it was an easy headshot. He's going to move the truck to the top of the hill. His teammates are going to stream out. This is going to be quite the simplest... One of the simplest escorts the Allied team are ever going to have to do. Nice covering airstrike as well. A lot of space given to the, the remaining Allied team players. All the all the defence just sitting here. Stopping the Axis from pushing up the hill. Yeah, it's slightly flanked. And 
nice headshots from Bob Bobikov. Four headshots with the, the ACP. Great shot. Really nice shot. Right. So it's going to be Menace to finish off that escort. Did, uh, did seemingly take down Raz. Did Raz take down Insane? I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe Insane gave it up. He didn't want to escort anymore. So it was a pretty uh, pretty fast attack. Six minutes fifty-eight on on Gold Rush. I like I like it when it's more of an attacking game. I do like it when it's more of an attacking game. So let's look at the the frags. Sixteen frags coming out from Anim. As Raz has an awful round. Absolutely awful round. He, I saw him get pans on the spawn or, or naded on the spawn like numerous times. Looking at the uh, the opposite team. Bobica going huge. 18 frags for him. 2.8k damage. We saw that nice four headshot frag right at the end. So this is it. This is it for the race team. They have to break this time. 6 minutes 58 on Gold Rush. Not an easy ask. It is going to be extremely difficult. You have to be really... Your t attacks have to be really good. We did see some good attacks from him on, on supply, so you never know. Fight. Are they running a field up? They are not. Like I said before, you don't really see field up too often on, uh, on Gold Rush first stage anymore, which is a shame. A bit of damage coming out from Genosta. I think they, they tried to go in through main to get that tank basically on the first push. He had four or five players. Nice aggression on side. I think that was uh, it. Was indeed Bobica. Nice nade. Very very fortunate at Bobica. Just a couple of a uh, couple of steps to the left would have been in trouble. Big uh, big big work from Menace. Double rifle coming out towards main. He did get a, a Garand kill. I think K43 frag towards side as well. Very um, random, let's just say random defense at the moment. Basically, wherever people are going right, and from the Allied team, Axis are just all rotating and, and watching that way. No one's holding position at side very well. Menace seems to be doing the, the work. Five frags for him on that last spawn. I'll try and pick him up. Where is he? Here he is. So he's not sure of what's going on. It comes to push in through sides. Rifle comes out from Menace. It isn't going to connect. He is going to be able to pick up one, however. And he doesn't get the Gibbs. So they have got three players in on sides. And maybe a quick build coming in. Double Engineer. Big Rifle does actually come out. And they are going to be able to damage it just in time. Really nice play. But a big double kill comes out with the support fire from Genosta. And there's basically two Axis players alive. There's not a single medic alive for the Axis team. It's going to be down to Menace. And I believe, I'm going to guess, Artstar. As that, oh, it's actually Snatix. Snatix is going to be able to get up for a big double grenade. Two-man defense to hold this tank. Artillery is going to do the work from iPod as well. They are going to finally get overwhelmed. The big strike comes out. But no build comes in. Really nice work from those two players. They just held it off enough for the respawners to come in and, and save the day. They didn't even get that build in. That should have been the Allied team building that out, no problem at all. That was Snatics and Menace. Godlike plays. The iPod artillery did a bit of work as well, to be fair. Here comes the push towards me. Nice shooting from Art Star. He's actually going to get taken out for quite a long spawn here. There isn't much time on the clock. No need for huge risk. Push coming in through many. It's actually going to get de dealt with by uh, Insane. Got a lot of players in position though, the Axis team. Let's try and pick up Insane here at main. I don't think he usually plays here. Can't remember where he plays for visual. Oh, shit, man. Oh, when I say visual, I mean Elysium. I always, I always call uh, Elysium visual. Push coming in through main. No medic on that. And it's got to be right on that. And I think this is almost definitely going to be over. Three, Just over three and a half minutes left. But they haven't built up, built up the tank yet. They had a really good opportunity though. They had a golden opportunity. They were all over the tank. 
two players left alive, well, three players left alive with access, not a single medic to be seen. And it came down to the last remaining two. Nice shooting from R Star. He's going to be able to get a couple of frags on that side area before being taken down by the team kill with Bobica. A couple of allied players still in position. There's actually just one. Can they get that tank? Can they uh, get a bit of get a bit of confidence whether there's going to be a third place game for the uh, loser teams in the semi-final or not? I don't know. But we'll be watching uh, the next game. It will be the grand final. And we will have Wheelchair United moving on after they win 4-0. to zero. Supply, their, their supply comeback was very, very impressive. They had a 7 minute time or 8 minute time, 9 minute time set against them and they managed to beat it by an entire minute. And they continued that uh, that fast play here on, on Gold Rush. Interesting rifle from Menace. He just wanted to get the job done. Just to make sure. Nice shooting from Bobica though. Great shot. Menace gets slightly overrun on that side area. Two minutes remain until we're going to have a wrap up on this map. I think everyone knows how it's going to be. We are going to see a bit more aggression coming from the Axis team. They know there's nothing to lose at the moment. And I'm starting to push in through main. This man's going to get a little bit of damage in. Mines as well. Nice shooting from Snatics. Really nice shooting from Snatics. Picks up three at main. Snatics proving you don't need legs to be able to shoot an MP40. If anybody knows, Snatix is very injured at the moment. And that was just a bit of banner. <laughs> so indeed, this is the ODC, so the final will be right after this. I'm, I'm, I'm re I was reading, it's potentially going to be a best of five, which is going to be, which will be fine. It just, uh, just needs, uh, hopefully, five different maps if it, if it goes to the best of five. We'll probably see supply and uh, and gold rush again though. We we'll have to see what sort of team they can come up against. Nice shooting from Eugen. He's gonna be able to take down two. Will he get his hands on that on that tank? He it looks like he's gonna build a tank. Just a little bit of a a morale boost. As uh, <laughs> Raz actually gets in that knife kill at the end, like ah, Raz is going to be like, "That's my victory." But Menace will move on to the next round. He will go to the grand final, and uh, I would say the big performers in this game. I would say as a team, I think there's a team they played very well. Obviously, that that two-man defense of the tank when it looked like they could have lost it, but their attack was very sweet themselves. I mean, and that takes a lot of. Uh, Good work on, on the attacks. Looking at the stats, we are going to see some disconnects. I guess that's to protect the egos. Um, 21 frags though coming out from Snatics. 3.1k damage going the way of Insane. I will update the scores on the main screen, but that is going to be a 4-0 to victory for Wheelchair United. And they will move on to the grand final.